help us understand, um, you know, because you're you're with a team where clearly, you know, the offense gets all the love, right? And rightfully so. I mean, you got star power on that side of the ball with the quarterback Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey and great players. Um, but tell us what's cooking on the defensive side, because guys like yourself, Chris Jones, Tyron Matthew, you guys have begun to assert yourselves and just tell us what's special cooking over there on the defensive side of the ball in Kansas City. I mean, man, real talk, we just playing our role, man. You know, um, you know, we got Pat, man. We got an explosive offense, man. Our offense is second to none. Um, but you know, you got a lot of guys who 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 play with chips on their shoulder on our team. You know, we come on the defense outside of the ball for the most part. You know, we got guys that come from all type of places. It's not the, you know, a group heavily loaded with first rounders or, you know, top picks and stuff like that. Like we, we, we really are a group who prides ourselves in playing, you know, hard ball. And, um, you know, with everybody from the, the front end to the back end, you can start with the young guys, man. I got young guys in Turk and Mike Dana, who and even Taco, Taco, you know, Taco Charlton, he came over and, Helped us out big time earlier in the season. Um, Turk and Turk and that boy Mike Dana are rookies in the room, in the D line room, even at, at the linebacker level, Willie Gay. Um, these guys have helped us tremendously. Juan Thornhill, starting to come rookie year, man. Just the different pieces that Spags and that um Coach Reed and that, you know, um Veach that they 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 brung together and that they pieced together to you know, um, so that we can build and continue to just build and just love and grow with each other. Man, it's built what we have today, you know, and that's the Super Bowl um, winning and competing defense. Yeah, and you guys won Super Bowl 54. You beat a pretty good San Francisco 49ers team. Super Bowl 55, though, you're going up against Tom Brady, the GOAT. You may disagree with who the GOAT is in this game, but it seems like even when he doesn't play his best football, man, he just has a knack for winning, right? can't always put your mm -hmm. finger on it, but what, what has allowed him to have so much success? More importantly, what are you guys going to have to do to stop him? Uh, I, you said it. You said it. You hit it on the head. I don't. I don't disagree at all. I feel like he is to go to the um of this National Football League. Period. I mean, anytime you talk about winning, and that's what it's about, and then you talk about winning on the highest level, which is the Super Bowl. That man has done it all. Um, you look over the last what uh, twenty years in his career, basically last eighteen years, I say, eighteen to twenty years, and this man has um won more playoff games, won more Super Bowls probably by like by like four or five than anybody else. So, I mean, when you got those type of accolades, he's been in the Pro Bowl, I think, 15 times. He's um, numerous MVP trophies and Super Bowl MVPs and all these different stuff. When you've done these things, and he date, he's dating Giselle, right? So it's like when you're doing all these different things, you're dating a supermodel, like you're the best quarterback in the history of the league. Like, you know, all things are going to go good for you. You know what I'm saying? It get, it's going to always be the topic of the conversation. You know what I mean? So, well, yeah. There's That's no awesome. doubt. And Frank, you guys played the Bucks week 12. You won that game 27-24 in, in Tampa. Um, what is it that you um, can use from that game to help you better understand what you could expect from Tom Brady, those receivers, this entire Buccaneers offense? What can you learn from that game you think will help you in Super Bowl 55? Um, I think a, a lot of people give they give a lot of credit to Tom Brady, but they don't um they don't speak about how how good that um that running attack was when we had played him. Um, that boy Rojo Rojo Jones he he's been playing some um he was playing some good football for them earlier in the season. I know things have shifted more recently um the last like um four games or whatever because. You got Leonard Fournette back there. He um, looks like, looking like he's figured out the offense and he's getting more comfortable. He got more comfortable back there eventually. And um, just finishing runs. If you watch, if you watch film towards the end of the season, it, um, Leonard Fournette was, was finishing runs better than Rojo. But um, I feel like earlier they had that one, two punch and it was kind of complimenting them pretty good. Honestly, we had problems with that during the game. Um, I think Rowe Ro ended up bouncing off for like a 60, 70 yard run off some missed tackles and stuff. But um, yeah, I think Tom Brady and those guys over there, they do an excellent job in, in complimenting Tom Brady by using that run, opening things up with the screens. We all know Tom Brady loves his out route. So yeah, man.